But I don't want to waste our time. How were you all? Happy New Year. Uh, I hope we all had a good New Year's Eve, you know, praying to God, asking for good things of life for the new year. I pray that the Lord Almighty will make this year our year of restoration. Restoration with compensation in the mighty name of Jesus. None of us will weep this year. This year will be our year in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you all for joining at Joker today. Happy New Year, everybody. I love you all. Please help me to share, share, share. I was on our last, our second page, um, Prevailing Issues with Joker. Like I told you, we'll be having our shows on Prevailing Issues with Joker. But because um, it's a new page and this particular topic that we are treating we've been on it for a long time on this page so i just feel and reason i'm bringing this on this page today again is because i want a larger audience for it do you understand so please go and follow prevailing issues with ajoke on facebook prevailing prevailing issues with ajoke on facebook so that we can always be having bibum 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 day please help me to share 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 yeah we've been talking about our goya king Kabiesi o oba um on oh ni ade ge ge I really bad at names you know our Kabiesi o ni sha our handsome Kabiesi the tall elegant Kabiesi the educated Kabiesi which is beautiful Olori Naomi the beautiful tall elegant Olori Naomi you know um it's been a rocky one for them you know last year and this year i said mm, hajoke don't let us come with bad news ah this year we should always come with good good news because uh do, 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 do. i want everybody to have um, a positive um outlook for this year and that's why today while i was on facebook i saw everybody um posting a um a prediction by prophet Thierry Beton that he did last year um, when um, when the KBSC married Naomi. I saw the 
the posts being, you know, pasted everywhere. Why they brought it out is because of the Kabiesio or Bato Wajaleni, Kabiesio Ba Olubadon of Ibadon. Ejeka play Kinitibo Bunyong Bikiri because when I saw it, um, I'm like. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. It will call Jesu, it will not be. Anyway, people brought out that post because of the Olubadon of Ibadon that died today. May he so rest in peace. Do not forget Baba is 93. So when I saw the post being, you know, carried everywhere this morning, I was like, oh, they said, Pastor Tia Beton's, um, Prophecy came to pass. Thank you, Elewani Fisat. They said Pastor Tia Beton's um, prophet. No, 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 I'm not. I'm... They're going to you a Hello? No. So when, they, when I saw the, um, the post, and people were saying, how oh, Pastor Tia Beton's um, prediction, you know, all of them are coming to pass. You understand? Remember, he said, Naomi and Oni will not last <laughs> that they will fight and um, the marriage will not last he predicted that the marriage will collapse he predicted that uh, Tibet, tibetan okay sorry tibetan he predicted that their marriage will collapse he called naomi on printable names that we cannot i cannot as a woman call any woman that name I'm not to talk of a man calling such a woman name. Anyway, he predicted that Olubadon of, of Ibadon, Olubadon will die. He predicted that uh, Obawa Lamidi could eat to Batimo. So I will not say it, but those are his predictions. So I'm going to play it because people said, ah, that means this man is very powerful. Oh, ah, and he predicted it. Oh, okay, let's hear the prediction. I just want to cover everybody with the blood of Jesus and I say, whatever prediction that is not of God will not manifest in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Maskata, they call you Tony Oko Esile. Come back, Kabu. They call you Bega Mabushino. If you don't think they know the magic concept, they know about Bini Mawala. Or about Bini, run into trouble. And Lame the Allah thing should be very, should be winding up. What the people say, huh? So, I know about it. About it, I don't know any. They go back to the region. That's all. Like I said, like I said, I'm playing this not because I believe in any prophecy that is of God, uh, that's not of God. I do not, and I'm not saying I believe in this prophecy. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. Okay, I'm playing it so that you will understand where I'm coming from. Um, people that believe in his prediction said, Well, his prediction has come to pass that Olubado died. Ah, I said Olubado that died at 93. <laughs> Old age, Babati Dagba. Topa predicts Baba Bama Kuni 90. 90. <laughs> Your prediction here yeah. that's not prediction no that's not prediction but party dad but tomorrow i'm okay to buy you some okay carry see we're about shelly you only saw yeah maybe you know the man is old was old you know when he predicted this so if you're saying this prediction came to pass for a man of 93 years old i don't understand what you mean he will eventually die because he's an old man on the second prediction, on the other predictions of the other ones, I've not seen them get into trouble. I don't know what he's talking about. But on the second prediction that they said came to pass is of Naomi and Oba. Of course they had a problem. But his prediction was they are going to part before one year of their marriage. Okay? That was Tibetan's prediction that they were not going to last one year. Good. 
Oni o ba wa ka bi esi oni ko ni lo one year pelu na yomi. But one lo three good years ko to di pe unto ma shele shele. We are all shouting about Oni oh, did this, Naomi did this. We will forget the fact that Naomi that has refused to bring out that post. Remember, there was rumor last week that she was back in the palace. Okay? She wasn't back in the palace. I wouldn't be the first to break bad news because they say I broke the first one. I don't want trouble. I just kept quiet. Okay? She wasn't back in the palace. It was all propaganda. That palace is not a place you just go. Say things about the king to the public. And then you go back immediately. Of course, reconciliation were being, you know, done by the elders of our own village, uh, our own place. And then the elders of Ife. And Naomi's mom was at the forefront of the recon reconciliation. Why was she doing that? Because uh, as a mother, I think she wants the best for her, her daughter. Okay? So, reconciliation was actually on. And we thought it was going to bring yield good thing. But of course it didn't. It didn't. Because Naomi refused to do certain things. And the KBAC himself wasn't too happy about the whole thing. As a matter of fact, as alleged, though, me, I'm, here, I'm just reading through the internet now. No, nobody told me. Mm. They said, Naomi said she was not going to bring it down. And she was not, uh, there was no, she was not remorseful about the whole thing. Do you understand? I concluded as a woman that maybe, maybe she was just fed up. Remember Diana's marriage to Ch uh, Prince Charles? She wasn't happy in that marriage. Diana wasn't happy in that marriage and she walked out of the marriage because she said there were too many, there were three in the marriage. There were three people in the marriage. That was what she said. Three individuals in the marriage and she walked out. Could this be the same thing with Naomi? She Remember, my mind and we be Naomi is not back in the palace. Information has to be done. has to be done. Yeah. And we be They were all with her. And the marriage was just a marriage of convenience. Maybe she wasn't happy in the marriage. Maybe the king himself wasn't happy in the marriage. And so for Naomi to have come out, hey Joe, please let me drink my tea. For Naomi, uh, I want to correct something. Dan Suleiman Olawale Aro Aro Yewu. I want to correct something. Since Kabi is married Olori Naomi, the three princesses were never in the palace. Remember the first marriage, I mean, the, the, the first queen, which was um, Queen Wuraola. Kaya de Temi Tokwe, love you, welcome. Queen Wuraola had that same problem when she was there. And they said that was part of the, uh, um, the problem that, you know, got the marriage crashed with Wuraola because of all knee sisters. But with this, Naomi, Naomi, go and ask anybody. They were never there in the palace. Never. They were never there in the palace. They do not sleep in the palace. Even when they have any occasion in the palace, they will sleep in um, its resort. The resort center. They don't. They do not. Because of the previous marriage that they were accused of destroying. As a matter of fact, the first one, Olori, uh, Ye Ye Won, is a married woman, happily married to a top politician. So what time does she have to go and sleep in the, in the thing, in the palace? 
you're all welcome. I love you all. Thank you for all the compliments. I'm just enjoying it. It's just doing my head. Bing, 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 bing. Thank you all. You all look beautiful on your profile pictures. So, they were never there. They said the second one, but that the second um, year two, the big one, that even f f for the one, last one year, she has not been to the palace at all. And the third one too, none of them sleeps there. So I'm just correcting that person that wrote it there that the princesses were part of uh, the problem of the palace. No, they were never. They actually, you know, stepped back to avoid the recurrence of Olori Wugaola's uh, issue. Now, moving forward. When the reconciliation was going on, they said, Mama apologized. That's um, Olori Naomi's mom because of all the things we saw online. Olori coming out to put the king out as having two face. Olori's um, brother's uh, video out on the internet, you know. And all the things they said, um, Bengo, the brother, did to Kabiesi. So she, she, the mother, felt, no, I, I need to apologize. You understand? And so, one baby, one baby, uh, yeah, only sisters kept themselves away from the marriage, yeah, because of the, yeah. so she, they are not part of this clash at all. They are not part of this clash at all. This clash, the marriage clash of Naomi is from Naomi's family, totally. So uh, Oni's family were never part of it. So even if you, you can read all their things, they will never say it's from um, Oni's sisters, no. So, as a mother, I think that is the right thing she has to do. Because if my own daughter leaves a marriage, of course she didn't do it at the first sight. The first instance, she shouldn't have allowed her to go with her back to... Um, Taloniko gets rich quick. He won't look. Emmanuel Joe, you are telling people should come and get rich quick. They should contact you. And you are not. I don't know if you are rich, huh? So I will block you, please. Don't bring your richness to this place. God is the owner of wealth. So, so my dear people watching me. So, thank you, Agodo Toy Lad. That was the first thing she should have done when Olori Naomi said. If you're telling my mom to leave the palace, if you're telling my people to leave the palace, I'm going to go with them. I thought as a mother, that was what she should have stood for that day and said, no, you're not going with me. You stay in your husband's house and I go. But let's, let's not go over that again now. But I'm just going back a little bit to bring us back to reality. So now mom has come out to apologize to the king, to the king's father, because they said Bingo was very, very rude to the king's father. And, you know, so they've come out to, you know, to apologize and they tried to bring them back together. I don't think as a woman, I, I personally, my own opinion, not anybody's opinion. I don't think personally Naomi is enjoying the marriage, was enjoying the marriage. I think it got to a point she felt I'm trapped. I'm trapped, I'm trapped. Oh, can't you, you, just like the way now. And then you see the way Megan walked out of the marriage. Um, Megan and um, Prince, what's that Prince name? The, the young, the young Prince. Or Matteo, but nonsense here. Yeah. You see the way they walked out of the palace, denouncing all their royalty, and went to America to start their new life. So sometimes it's not about money. Sometimes you think about your own happiness. You think about your mental health. You think about a lot of things that you want to think about. And sometimes, it might be, I've gotten enough of what I'm here for. Harry, thank you. Prince Harry. That boy, no nonsense. So he just left with his wife. Don't kill my wife the way you kill. Don't kill my wife the way. <laughs> Not me say it to me. So, <laughs> so they walked away peace of mind so sometimes it could be like people are you know accusing naomi and her family that they've come Bumi, you're now gume please ma i am not here to i i will just 
remove your comment. This zone is no insult zone. I am not here to insult anybody. And if you have been following my program, you will know I don't insult. Please, let's respect ourselves. Thank you, ma'am. So, my dear people, so she, I, I feel sometimes it could be I've had enough of what I've come here for. So I'm fine. I can move away. I can live conveniently with the little I've got. Because they are being accused of so many things which I'm not aware of. But one thing that I've seen so much on the internet about this king and his wife a wife, a wife or wife is the fact that we are all concentrating so much on his marriage, his private life. We have forgotten so much and see, okay, what has this man done to the society? Who is Oni of Ife? Is it just this young man that's just gallivanting around, going to parties? Or who is he? Who is Oni of Ife? Who is Naomi? What has Naomi done to the society? What has his other Ayabas done to the society? What are they doing to the society to improve anything in life? Because my own about life is not about what you can get, but what you can give. Are they really giving out to the society? And I was, I was just thinking about that this morning. And somebody came into my inbox and said, Auntie Ajoke, she was crying. She said, Auntie Ajoke, please, can I have a word with you? And I'm like, ah, oh, you want to have a word with me? Okay, you know my name is Bebo. And I want to hear it now. I thought it's one of those gist again. I've got another gist for you. And I'll be happy to share another gist. Because I thought about it. I don't want to talk about Naomi and our love life. Or if they want to settle, let them settle. If they want. Because we've been hearing rumor that another queen is coming. And the queen that is coming is the queen that had left before. I don't know. So, Ajoke will not say what she doesn't know. But the news we are hearing in you. <laughs> I just get you, you know, you remember your prince name, I they enjoy you, my way. Ah, must go. No, I don't move me every in my way. Okay, <laughs> so what impact what we have the things they did in the society was what, what was on my mind this morning, even throughout two, three days ago when all these things I was like even if Naomi wants to come, let her come back. If she doesn't want to go, go, let her go. What is my business with all this palace thing? You know, it's just their life. And everybody's got to like, got something to choose. Is either you choose happiness or you choose sadness. Whatever pleases you is what you would do. What pleases me is what pleases me, it pleases me is what I would do. I will not do what will please others. Do you understand? So I was thinking to myself, okay. What is our problem with that? Let us ask Oni Obaife. Kill it, she free lay over. Kill it, she free go go on. I want to young Jay. In your look, Kawa, a Josa, a Doma, a lot of problem in Isa, a lot of problem in Obala did me jelly in Fisa. While I was still thinking about that, somebody came into my inbox and said, and say, okay, please, I really want to have a word with you. And I said, okay, go on. Another Ike. And she said, it's about the KBAC and the palace. And I said, oh, I'm interested. You know, when it comes to that, I want to, you know. And then she said, she, she started crying. And I said, why are you crying? I thought you got gist, gist for me. Or oh, did Oba impregnate you too? Are you pregnant for our KBAC? Because it's all this gist we are hearing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you. So I didn't have me. So I was like, okay, have you one or two from Are you one of the Ayabas? And she said, no, ma. I am only 18 years old. And I said, wow. Okay. What do you want to tell me about her? She started crying again. And she showed me this video. She said, Auntie, please can you watch this video for video first and then I can call you back, ma. Okay, please, I want us to watch this video. Mm. 
What has KBA DC done for the society is what I asked, and then this is what I got. Okay. I'm a victim of human trafficking. I'm record in life in Saudi Arabia. Please, in any support you can render for us to bring us back home. Please, this molesting is too much for us. Please, I am making this video I want to come back home, especially me. I've already finished my two years since April, and I was locked down in a room in the name of the. Everybody. These are ladies that were trapped in Libya. One of them was the one that contacted me today and said, Ma, we were trapped in Libya. We were trapped without any help from the Nigerian government. They cried for help. She said, we cried for help, but we couldn't get any help anyway. A lot, of, a lot of us were being killed daily. But the government did not even look into our own side at all. She said they cried out. And they got help from the palace of Orni. Remember, this is post should be a post of humanity. So, for some of us that we've not been privileged to see it, like me, I've not been privileged to see some of his works. So, I'll say, what is he doing? And she said, Ma, this is part of what this man has done. He initiated, I think he worked in conjunction with um, another agency. And they, they, they brought this girls back. To Nigeria. I wrote the agency's name down. So, um, do, 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 do. Oh, this life. Make Me Elegant Foundation. The Make Me Elegant Foundation is a non governmental foundation that looks into affairs of uh, human trafficking. So they started working with the king and they brought these girls back to Nigeria. When they brought them back to Nigeria, they empowered them with the support of Oni. He said the, the, first, the first year he did, about four years ago, you understand, he brought these girls back empowered them the last one they showed me I'll, I'll still play that anyway look at this i'll show you this and then because when i was watching this and the girl said auntie i don't mind coming to your program and let people see what this man has done in my life the the, the king that we should please please because um beneficial or nilum okay 
And I think Naomi was there too while this was going on. So it wasn't about him alone. Take me from Saudi Arabia to Nigeria. Please, we are calling a Nigerian group. I'm here with your parents. 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 So this was when he brought the first set. This was when he brought the first set. He young jam on Nigeria. A lot of Nigerians are trapped overseas. And we've got a uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They said they are doing their best anyway. But their best is not enough. How many kings are helping us in this aspect at all? This human trafficking we're talking about. How many of our kings are doing this for us? That's why I'm not bothered about his family affairs again for now. I want us to talk about what can move Nigeria forward. Okay, Yegide said, uh, if it was four years ago, I doubt if Naomi knew about it from the onset. Yeah, from the onset, it was Olori. And when um, Naomi came, Olori, Naomi came, she took over as the wife of the king. And then, you know, so now let's digress a little bit and see what are we gaining from all this, our obas. Find out. Okay. I want more Nigeria to one in Lebanon. To one Jaya, ni Lu, ni Libya. Ton Jaya, ni Lu, ni Ton Jaya, ni Saudi. Go, go, go. Okay. Okay. To the Nigerian government. To Nigerian government. Most of these girls said, the girls said, most of our own, they will go to the embassy, Nigerian embassy there. They will sleep over there. Just for them to please take us back home. We are being killed daily. We are being killed daily. Take us back. Poverty brought us to this place. Till you want no bad dan, you want show more done in Libya. Till you want bad dan, ah, you want show more done in Saudi. These girls were being raped by their masters. They were being raped, beaten to death. Thank you, AJ Nusse. Beaten to death. Daily. Iyan Jawomo Nigeria Gidigidigon. They didn't get help from any government official. They didn't get government help from our 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 obas here in Nigeria. I know most of the time we say obas are not being paid to do this job. They are not political. It's all it's not a political post. So they are not being given anything to take care of these people. But if there is one oba that will come out and do this, then we should give him kudos. Let's forget about his marital life. Let's say, forget about the prediction of your marriage will last, your marriage will not last. God knows anybody marriage that will last, will last. It's only last, last, only last. And then we are not happy in the marriage, you walk out. Oh, that's a 
Omo jaja ti ti o se jale, omo ayi ki ti ogun. Ka bi e ti o. I see you too. Mi mo boya kini. What that foundation does will um ti awon omo yen ba ti collector ti won ti pe ojaja ton ti pe gbogbo eko ton ti pe gbogbo nigeria and when there is cry and everything <laughs> thank you um we don't worry about them we're fine you know so once they get all these people uh, girls together they will now kbc will now give them money to go and bring them back to nigeria with that foundation Make me ele elegant foundation. We seek to the um, human trafficking in Nigeria. Human trafficking is getting eye and eye now. The rate as, at which it's going, you won't believe it. The rate at which it's going, you won't believe it. The only thing that all these slave masters are doing now is to sell these girls out to the other countries. Get money off them. Not even minding what goes wrong or what happens to them. Okay, you said, John Sinun, when he said, Madam, do your research, please. Obas, Obas, beside senators are the next highest paid folks in our land. Okay, if Obas are doing it, okay, if they are being paid, okay, I don't know if they are being paid as much as this. Because, for instance, one of the girls that was brought home, as I was informed that KBSC gave one of them 20 million naira to do a film on human trafficking. And he wants that film to, to go on Netflix. Why? Because he believes so much. They said, according to the girl, he believes so much in women. He believes so much in ensuring that women are empowered. If women are empowered, we'll have a way of improving the society because the society belongs to women, whether we like it or not. We are the one breeding children. Mm. All of us are under local government chairman. So how much will they be paid? So the king, according to her, brought them back. And this is not the first time he's been doing it for the past four years. The last one they said he brought, he gave each one of them one, one million naira when they arrived. Yalaje of Odua, Yalaje, they said Yalaje gave all of them one, one million. Then Oshofa's son was there, he gave them one, one million. That's to start a business. And another uh, chairman, I'm going to show the video, was there and that one gave them um, a machine to start working with sewing machine and you could see the kind of the, 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 the things these girls are doing now oh so honorable idea color said he does more than that he gave scholarship and empower widows every month wow so why are we admiring so much on his marriage why are we amounting uh, so much on what he has done bad? I just believe sometimes it's just little, little things that we can say if they've done, that we show them. Let the world know what he has done. Some of the girls that were brought from Libya, look at that. Look at that. And you, slave masters, you people that are doing this business, you are still doing it. And I wonder what Nigerian government is doing about this business. Getting young girls out of our country. Ah, God is looking at us. You that you have your own children. You will take other people's children to go and do a shevo. To go and do house help. For me, I just want you to go and get busy, please. Hey, to go and do 
you are shallow. You are not empowering this, these people. Okay, what is our Nigerian government doing about the whole thing? They know that people have been taken to Saudi to do um, house help. They know that people have been going to uh, Le Le Libya to go and work as a model. Prostitution. Human trafficking. They know about this. What are they doing to help the condition of people in Nigeria? What is our government doing about it? What is the foreign affairs doing about it? To ensure that young girls, as young as 13, young as 13, were brought back home with HIV. Some were pregnant. As young as 13 years old. Ha! Huh. The awareness, I think there, there is a little bit of awareness. But my dear, my dear, the poverty in Nigeria is not allowing them to listen. The poverty in Nigeria is not allowing them to listen at all. Look at some of his job. Make me elegant foundation. So this is Nigerian. Married from Igbo to Yoruba. Is so much thing that he does now. He, he, he is focusing so much on women and children. And sometimes you start wondering, okay, for a man like this, that so much love women, so much has passion for passion for children. Have passion for children. What is happening to his own home? And then you now look at, well, it might be just be unlucky with marriage. That's his own anyway. But smile will almost so dream, will almost so dream me, nearly cow much. Smile will obey you, must you draw one more line me. Smile will almost so draw one more line me. I learned that there was one guy, Tomang Pini, I wonder if you look up a boy, you, I feel Jaja, no man, people boy, I feel Jaja. The guy said, they said, the guy said, because I investigated, to, you know, through the palace and, and, and I, I got to know the, this guy, said he lost his mother when he was very young, at age two, and lost his father at age four. He moved to his uh, grandmother's place and he, the grandmother died at age, uh, when he was age 11. Since that time, he's been sleeping around. He, he said when Oba or Jaja came to palace as Oba, he said, when the man came as Oba, became the Oba of, Pal of, uh, of Ife, he has been coming every day. And they won't allow him to see the king. They won't allow him to see the king. They won't allow him to see the king. Two years ago, when they did the um, Olojo festival, the guy pushed himself in. He forced himself in. And the king saw that he was being beaten back to go back. And he asked them to bring him back. Let him come in. And when they brought the, the, boy, the boy in, he said, Baba, I am not going again. And the king said, okay, I adopt you. And he's been living in the palace. He's happy. A lot of life that they said this man has touched. Why are we not talking about his positive side? What has he done to the country? That is my own. Who is Onyo Jaja? What, has he, what contribution has he done to the society? They said he's helping the widows. He's helping a lot of people that comes into the palace. During the last, even this one. Okay, let me show you where. Um, you know when they came back and they were empowered. You know, you will see. Oh, in fact, look at. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Hey, 
You are feeding the whole nation. You are empowering women. These are women that will have their own children. And then at the end of the day, if they are well empowered, they have their own jobs, they will take care of their own children. And one more then will not become a more common. You understand? A lot of things that the man is doing that we don't know. I know he has some I call you Odua, those blind ones that I do see, they do showcase them doing um, his festivals and his birthdays and those are blind people and they will have his Thank you, you. Thank you so much sir They will have his um, they will sing for him have, he will have dinner with them I think Oni is good and doing good to people. But those Naomi people and Naomi and Naomi. So, so, so you know, it's my own thing is this. Alright? I don't want to know how Oni is dealing with his wives, his concubines. Is side chicks is whatever. What impact has he in the society? Nkote mefe mo niye. Toba ni local government chairman kon o gbe obiri o sheki ni kon. What is my own? It she go she she talk gbe fun e she on she. She o kowo waje. What is your impact in this society? That is my own. And he doesn't put the okay. Omo omo ladi let me said. And he doesn't put them on the social media page. He's doing these things quietly. You understand? Even to the extent that they said, this king sent these people out. Um, the good, uh, good for me, elegant. I begin one you know. Oh my God, Yeah, make me ele elegant. That foundation. You understand? He had, he had done something that they would go to all private schools in Nigeria. And then having a talk with them, maybe if they can reach a, a conclusion, they will put each child in private school, each one of these children that they see, the vulnerable ones. And believe me, one thing you don't know about this very king we are talking about. One of his ayabas, I will mention the ayaba here, her name is Peju, the one in Canada. They said that one, eh? <laughs> it's like, our life is just about charity. They said our life is just about charity. Because she has seen that in the man she wants to marry. Or she's married to, I don't know. And the same thing with Naomi. If you can see that when Naomi left, immediately she left, I think she has a foundation of her own now. Because I saw her on the... I think uh, a day after Christmas, she went giving out food to widows and all that. So I think that thing is just in them. It's imbibed in them once you go into the palace. It's charitable hearts. They said that made you, we bring our vulnerable children. It will, she will watch uh, BBC and we go and contact them and we bring them to the palace, give them this, give them that. The the Miss Culture, they said Oba does. I joke after this show, let's put on I and Naomi aside. I don't understand this. Kikelomo Shibade Akade. 
After this two, let's put on I and I will be inside. I don't understand. You understand? So they said this um thing it does um the miss miss uh miss killer mango, you know, miss culture, the more any thing and all that. He organizes this to promote the girls. To promote our culture in our girls. If you can say that now, our girls don't care what they wear now. I was, I posted something where two ladies sat beside them. Um, Femi, Femi Kilonjeno, Femi Adebayos, Femi Adebayo, Ogabelo's son. You know, he sat and two ladies beside him. One here, one there. He was looking at one like this. Her breast was out, you know, almost you know, naked in the party. And by the time he turned to the left, he said, hey, don't cover me, another one. Ah! Almost naked in the party. That is the culture we, our ladies, our young ones are doing now. Even on their wedding day, you, you can't imagine what they wear. Okay, what I mean is, people think you, but I'm telling you, Naomi has foundation, so I don't know. Let them misconstrue me, I don't care. You know, so, they said, okay, this one that is doing is just to promote this girl and teach them in a way that if he does this culture, a misculture thing, for a year, he will provide, they will give them car. That's their gift. They'll give them car. They will provide them clothing from his Adriere hub. They'll provide them everything. They will encourage them to, to plant their, their hair in our, um, in our way, you know, the African way, just to promote culture. And apart from promoting culture, empowering these ladies right from the onset. So that they will know, it's not only when you are naked or half naked before you can become a woman. What makes a woman is far from being naked. It will give, even their mothers, they say, will give them cars. It's a lot of festival that he does. Do you know how many cars they said this man gives out? That is it. We should hear more about his progress in helping the country than showing off. He doesn't, we, we have not even seen him. I, I, this is the first time I'm even hearing this today. All these things they say. I know doing this a lot of festival, he gives cars. But I, I never knew he can give up to 200 cars. To the extent that even last year they said, oh, basically you got a car. That's how good it is. Anyway, my bone of contention is this. What is Oni doing? And you can see, uh, somebody was giving, was talking about him. I went on to search for that. And I saw this and I was impressed, you know. Um, when that man came up to talk, you know, that look. This was when those girls returned. Ah, can you see has really demonstrated uh, it is state governor demonstrated. Here are some of the things he said during the presentation of award to Oni of Ilefe. Because of your activities, not only in the arena of human trafficking, but in making sure that our youth have a better future. You are not the kind of monarch that will just sit down all day and having people to just uh, pay homage and all of that. You do that too, but you are much more active in trying to redefine the institution of monarchy by helping out in whichever way that you can, and you are doing that. So you stand out, obviously, hmm. for all the monarchs hmm. in not only the Southwest, but the entire Nigerian nation. Hmm. So it's an it was just a little talking that symbolizes our utmost respect and appreciation to the monarch by the body of Southwest Diaspora Focal Point officers. James was emotionally, hmm. physically, spiritually. I don't say that. I don't. I don't think that is everything. We have to cry when we have the story of those victims. Of these victims. Hmm. 
Those are victims that was rescued from Libya, from Oman, from the Oman one. That is what baffles me. That the Oman one, you still see them daily on TV, on social media, crying for help. And people are still being smuggled, trafficked down to that Omar. And our government is not doing anything about it. Even, what am I even saying? Even here in UK, you go to our embassy if you get any help. If you are in trouble, go to our embassy and see what your, your eye go see. Go see Pepe. What's the essence of having embassies everywhere and you're not taking care of your citizens in those countries? They said those girls, these girls said they will go there, they will sleep out on the streets in their embassy and they will be kicked out until they got support from this uh, Make Me Elegant Foundation with the support of all new of all new of Fife because they believed in that cause. Yes, we were doing this, but I found out something. Tell me what Tom Tazika said that he was a man who 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 was a man the story behind smokers are able to die off. But this year we pick people that have horrible stories. Hmm. People that have horrible stories. And it has drained us, in fact. But above all, I want to thank you, Kadesi. You are a wonderful father. You are a wonderful father. This foundation went to uh, Libya, got all these girls, and KBSC empowered them. Yalaje of Odua empowered them. You know, um, the, I think some people there too, Oshofa's son, empowered them. So this is what he does. <laughs> We have run to so many people. So even the so-called government, they failed. Hmm. But eh, Jaco Sui, eh, Jaco Reni. Kabisi. We found that there are people that have really come together to support, to join us. I just individual. Why the government are not doing anything? Did you hear that? They say people that are supporting this, uh, this is a foundation that is into human trafficking, you know, helping those that are being trafficked out of the country. She said, the only people that are helping us are individuals. The governments do not even look at them at all. They are the primary job of the government to look after its citizens are being taken care of by a foundation and the foundation will go to the government and they won't even help them again. Now they have come to an oba who has been supporting them. But still, I still plead on the government. I want to be able to I want to know how to do it. 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 I want to know how to Look at because they've been empowered. This we are the ladies when they brought them. Some had HIV and they were not ashamed to share their stories. Some had HIV. Some had um some were pregnant and they had to go and abort. A lot of things they came back with from uh, Libya. You are to buy your own Look at that. That's what I'm going to do. 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 Hmm, look at that. Who are you? Shele, come and read to my wife. They bring to your attention, not to talk of the respect that the Yoruba culture and tradition has gained around the world since your accession to the throne in a short space of time. And somebody talked about is, you know, the way he promotes culture. 
is one of the others that I love so much. I do say it. People said I was talking about him the other time. Why was I talking about if I love him and all that? Da, 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 da. When we say something, we bring it out. If uh, nobody does something that is bad, we say he has done it. Say my business and only I'm so. But Tomashi in Kotoda no. He promotes our culture so much. You will never see this cabbage with jeans and top. Me oh really? You will never see this cabbage just dress anyhow. Me oh really? When he's going out, he goes out with his full regalia. Even all over the world. Toba wonu eh look combine. Wan wa toba wa si lo lo me by on my love you at only be one lady. That's promoting our culture. It's promoting our culture. It's like anywhere the queen goes. There are things that is culturally acceptable. You cannot shake the queen's hand. So it's just our own culture. This man has been promoting it according to them. What do we want? My own is, it doesn't, I don't care about, <laughs> you know, he said he does. Even his gold and beads are made in Nigeria. Oh, I'm a lady like me. Can you imagine? So he promotes our culture so much. And he tries as much as possible to ensure that the economy is, 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 is improving. Even in Ife there, he's got his um, results there, giving hundreds, hundreds of Ife indigenous jobs, giving them something to do. Is God is at the rare orbs where many ladies are empowered, they work there. Another thing they even told them, told me, do you know that they said last year he just went into his um is it at the 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 resort or one of his I think it's the resort and he just gave two cars to two of his employees, just pick them or four, just pick them randomly and just give them cars. You understand, young guys, that they were really surprised. I was like, wow, you know, so it has come to my own turn. You know? <laughs> Again, Mutsi. Mm. And he has encouraged a lot of youths in life to go back to, in Ife, to go back to farming. Wow. So a lot of things like that that he's doing, that we are, we are not, people should, should truncate things like this from all our others. People that are doing it, let us know. We don't want to hear, uh, he's married to Naomi, he's married to, excuse me, he's married to, I don't know, that's not my own. Station to the throne in a short story. Father had about uh, two years. Uh, he needs, his song needs to be a uh, song. Uh, he needs to be advertised uh, so that others hopefully can begin to, uh, to emulate him. And that was how we came up with this award as the okay Nigerian so they gave him this award Nigeria. like th this man was saying th they gave him this award so that all their monarchs will follow we follow puts and follow through and follow his step because according to them is the one of the kings that has been doing we are tired of that okay you know he's one of the kings you know that has been helping the youths encouraging the youths we can see and it's one of the kings that you cannot go to Ileife and the palace will be close to you do you know what i went to my you know i'm a good girl i went to my village ni saleko hey temi ni ba lo si saleko ni odun olohun i got to saleko you know my village in saleko i got there i said okay i want to go and see my king Oba mi, muti e kwa bechi van wo inu palace ni ba yo ba eh oye koni ni ba debe. I said ah, and I was telling my friend, my childhood friend that I went to meet in Lagos. I said I'm going to the king's palace, so immediately we leave here. He said ah, who that we we felt there? And I was like, tell what? He said, did you, when you were passing through, did you even see the the the, the gate of the palace? Did were you able to see anything in the palace at all? Were you able to see anything in the palace? And I was like. Well, of course, it's fenced, but because of, you know, maybe Ayeti Dayola, you. And she said, no, you can't even see the king. That the Godogodos there will beat the hell out of you. You cannot see the king. And I'm like, ah. Oba, kinila, nini. Ah, kabi e si mi. Mama, kwa daddy means the change in sin, no? Um, Akiolu, daddy mi. Ni ba tan o bad boys, ni eti, want to, want to, want to, want to disgrace wa di sa li kwa, on mo ali, on mo bugu kutok bo wa lok pa ashe. Hello, caller. 
Okay, okay, and drive the wall. Does anybody know our number? Cassie. Okay, number you are number you are to Am I worried? Am I worried? Me, or first you call in, tell any number, but uh, if anybody want to call in, they can call okay, in now. What about? Plus four four. Plus four four. Yeah. Seven four. Seven four. Seven four. Yeah. Six six. Six six. Two five. Two five. Two five. Two four. Two five. Two four. Two five. 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 Two Yes, ma'am. Okay. Four, four. Plus four, four. Seven, four. Seven, four. Six, six. Six, six. Two, five. Two, five. Seven, three, eight, five. Seven, three, eight, five. Thank you so much, sis. God bless okay. you. Thanks for your contribution. I see you. I want to see you now, mother. Okay. Okay. So, a lot of immigrants, honestly, Ah, mwa wuka di si bi pe koko mura sha ko mo like mura won gege bi omo yoruba pe won promote culture wa but that was just it but the mic one artist ya won yo ma lo si palace won ba won sheve is a king you know that is so free with the youths do you understand he's so free with the youths that's the only thing the only side that i know about him mi o mo pe won empower awon obirin so much by only continue to so one not wash it da mothers cancel see lenny this mothers cancel mothers cancel ye when the uh, uh, was inaugurated 46 countries oh baby 46 countries don't move that see look at kiri um not only in nigeria all over the world who comprise of 46 countries they are called mothers cancel and this is just about women empowerment Women empowerment is being added by um when Mr. De Wale and go, Mr. De Wale Williams started it and told me about it and said, Look, I think we need women all over the world if they can, you know, we can do something together. And he said, Why not get this other um foundation involved? And which he did. Irene, thank you, Jerry or Remy told that. Can call in, no, if you want to call in. I'm not going to stay too long anyway. The number is plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight six. Plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight six. Ah, uh, number to the major eight five new. I don't think the one you um unpin that. I don't think your own is right to uh um because I know it's eight five. Do that big book, but yeah, it's plus four four. It's plus four four seven four. Ah ah. Let's. I need to call seven seven. Okay. Plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five. I hope so. So, why you know great see women's council here, yeah? and it and it, it, it consists of forty six women from forty six countries. Kid of to see to women empowerment. 
Which way can we help women? Like they said, they said this king is so passionate about women, children, youths. That is so passionate about them. And it takes them so serious. He doesn't joke with women. He doesn't joke with children. He doesn't joke with youths. If you remember, he made a statement the other time when he was talking about um, they won't keep involved. I want youths. Youths, they buy involved. Mama make policies without the youths. So he has been, you know, an advocate for youths all along, according to them. Kini, it's in your name, please. In this effort, and he's not alone. I know Matthew or Shofa, he himself as well helps him. The presence of Princess Dr. Oluwatsui Adefi Sola Kolade, the Iyala Jalaji Odua, was also a huge motivation to the victims and returnees as she donates huge amounts of money for the support and encouragement of the ladies. Will not be. Let me explain to you very well. Where I know what Baba Oni is doing to the humanity. He's a giver. Mm. And he love everyone around him. He's, you know, I appreciate Baba very well. What I can see here today. If I want to cry for the confections to all these guys, it's not easy to live home to live here. See what is happening to them. Libya. Hmm. Those out of our hundred percent is only five percent came back home. You know, the people, there's some people now that they are looking for their children and no no way to find them. But for about it to call the embassy that if any uh, of Nigerian guests want to return home, they will sing hardly bring them back home and see all those days today. Not this is another one for this year. So he called he called the embassy to tell them that look if these girls are they want to come back home, he will single adequately bring them back home. That they should tell him how much it's going to cost him and which he did. Where are all other obas? Where are, where is our government? Mm. I gave them some of the uh, materials like sewing machines uh, empower them. So if we are doing good business, say, it's only God that will reward And my advice for all our people at home, please, they should, please, help all these guys who are there. Not only the correct people, number. You said the number is not correct. Yeah, for Nigeria girls. Are you sure the number is not correct? For the blind girl. I will check the number. So many students, more than 1,000 students uh, in so many universities, and it's only this currency. May God bless his way for us. And may God continue to bless him. Uh, and he will live long on, this, on his father's throne. So I was happy. And then I will, I'm going to support all these guests. Plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five. Plus four four. Show me your pin, then. I thought I pinned it down. Plus four four. Hmm. Who pin nonsense? Name I been. Plus four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five. That's why today I adopt. I adopted them. As my children too. Hey, God bless you. Uh, and I will tell my 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 people, Yalaji and Yalodas, to support them too. The female member representing Elaje on the State House of Assembly, Committee on Diaspora and Foreign Affairs, Honorable Favor Tomo Mewo, also thanked the Oni for his several interventions. She pleaded to the monarch to prevail on the governors of the region to see the need for the creation of diaspora commission in all the southwest states as this according to her is one of the most effective ways in which governments can effectively put an end to human trafficking in our political spectrum of course uh is a kind of child that we must all emulate honestly uh has really demonstrated uh and heights 
of genuine passion for humanity. Hmm. Genuine and passion for humanity. You just, because yes. if you don't have that genuine passion, you cannot do it. Honestly, if you don't have it, you cannot do it. And that is why what I said, I have seen in him. And I said, Naomi, Olori Naomi, I saw her foundation now. She's got a foundation. And she's doing well too. I saw her going uh, on the second day of Christmas or so to feed the widows, you know. And all is Ayabas. I think they have one foundation or the other. So it's because of that that is instilled in them from the palace. If you remember that Olori Wuyaolatu had that, I think she still has it, a foundation that looks after people. So it's just something that, it, and, and I think when he sees a woman and he sees that in them, it goes for them. I don't know. I'm not a smart piece. I don't know anything. I'm just saying mine because I know that he just loves um, to help according to them. So then let's it. just go on. We must put it in that. You can call if you want to call for four four seven four six six two five seven three eight five. Supporting him. Don't call me after the program. Who can you call? Because I'm tired. Of this our leaders. If I basically I've been doing all that which you know support giving. It's what I'm not my own ma. But what what do we what do we need to say? Or what do we need to why do we need to sit down with us contributing to the at uh, what the kind of he has uh, given. So that is why you know, it is our responsibility, every one of us, to have to play our part. Because in view of all this, we cannot we cannot blame all these young ladies, our youth, I mean the victims. We can't blame them as such because they, are, they were on hunting for the daily uh, daily needs. The green picture, you know, in which every one of us are also <laughs> one way or the other looking for how to hand our daily means. So that's why we must not blame them. Look at how many gauges they must so. educate them. Educate them the right path follow. Educate them how to do it, how to go about it, and educate them to believe in their self standing. So Ajoke is saying something here, all right? And that's what I want us to take home. I do not believe in prophecy. Of doom sorry to say any prophecy that is not of God I do not believe it they said on this marriage was just going to be less than a year it was three years before the marriage collapsed so I don't believe it's about the prophecy they said Kabye Sioba Olubadon will die Olubadon is dead at 90 Three. So if it is a prophecy of Omokekere, like I said earlier on, so Agbadlag Bani Baba, what is that? But to that, Omakuni, who is your Tori prophecy? What is Oni's impact in the society? We've seen some that is done. How is he empowering women? How is he empowering the youth? How is. Um, empowering ladies even young girls to become modest in their dressing by you know doing the um misculture thing and all that uh, how he has you know brought people out of poverty through his kindness through some foundations that he's doing how is giving employment to people in the society that's what matters to me what can he do? What is he doing? What are those things that he's doing that other uppers can emulate from? What is he doing that's supposed to be the duty of the government? Those are the things we should be looking at. If Ulogi Naomi is not happy, was not happy in the marriage, good for her, she had walked away. Because if she had not brought that post out down since that day, it means her mind is made up. She has her own reason for it. And if Kabi says, don't go, come back home again, I'm done with you. It's your palaver. Mm, who cares? What we care about is the society, Nigeria. Be Nigeria or Shini Baje. 
Be culture, wow, she ni bagge, which is Yoruba culture. Be alone, or bash baba, talk a beast is or no. Be alone, or bash baba, talk a beast is or no. Tom and only long no to the corny. So that book bushet you look like basic on lower, could it be badge? Because helping people is shining you, or long look basic, you lower cabby still, the barley film will be. Olorun lo gbe si yin lowo o ko wa ni baje lowo lowo yin sa ore o ni su yin se sa omo ede te ni fe agbalagba te ni fe obirin te ni fe te fe fi promote society te fe fi help humanity ko wa ni su yin se ah akike la mo shiba i will finish soon don't worry don't take your don't let them catch you you know so could this swing she? Let's share it to my way. Let's borrow a long one, but but we are to own lots of lossy. I don't mean. Hmm. We are not mean like she like me like you know. God Almighty will bring peace onto your life. Bring bring peace onto you, sir. Hmm. God will bring peace to the to your life. Bring peace to you. To entire your barriers. To the whole Nigeria, like Baro Longoba. Because I know you as a king, I know people will say, What is he doing when it comes to political affair? Maybe he's close to APC, he's close to PDP, he's close to whatever, you know. Pokoto le shefa wa, or more to Karo Jire. Basically, help condition nuwa, or Murobawa. Teba long balata buja. Then you could ask our money go bala low a kilo de in what do then she bush ya kugi or long idea my fun is she do you wanna come as a guest? Do you wanna come fun she nyalu bawa kill a she fun yo ba colo my fun is she lo kuni swin she your marital life your whatever I just can't smoke when we see news we just bring it out that's my own but be kill you da we call no you da we see to call me alone only check carry you. Uh huh. So when they free a job a young man Nigeria really no if you baba you don't come back but yeah they buy to fund or share see. When they to fund what? When they to help what? See that that. When they help what? See that that. He can fund marital life. Fund or see that. To buy ya a lot no a come on. But buy one baba they hear me. Top the only ya who twenty only ya who fifty they me. I want to be relaxed in the corner. Hmm. It's a teaching period for him, marriage teaching period, Lele. We are with time. Along Baba 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 Tom so no. So that um he shall pack belly one could the budget. These are things we want to be seeing in you, sir. Kabi S Kadi Pelo Kiba Pele Sesa. Kiru Kere could you kinimo in law? I won't go to fe clearly. Then she for more you back. Then she for more more Nigeria. The fear and power more because we took more more people. Come why you palace go to my bank told you to jam more people. So can she you balala? Do you understand? So what you have been doing is what, what I know. They said he doesn't like paparazzi when it comes to what he does. He likes paparazzi when to dress up, but he doesn't like paparazzi to show off um uh things that he does to the society. But we want to be seeing it. Sincerely, sir, we really want to be seeing what you're doing. Because if not, I can't believe a killer and she know you. She bought a bank with dear, dear, bye. Oh, my, yes, for me, I can come out and talk. Oh, for money, 20 million naira, come on, she film. Latin, educate, I want to fail, or see Libya, or fail, or see you, man. But do not go. Ya come back. But I'm not sure if I'm going to go. He's empowering them so much. The lady said, I will come out and I will talk about it. Because he gave us 20 million to go and start the project. And he says, if that money is not enough, I'll give you more. So that you educate people. Because a lot of people do not know the Iyaton Lodjeni Omar, Ton Lodjeni Amo Saudi. These are wicked people. Don't care. Nick by me. And they are being trafficked down to dark countries. So things like that, see only one shame here. 
So if he continues well, and when the bank when go back, he can be be what you can be daddy. Let us know what he's doing. You know, power. Kilo fe fitun do Nigeria. She no buy the kosher pe. Eh, kiri kaka kiri kaka. Kilo kampe do. Daddy won fe o kome jo. Mommy won fe o kome o mewa. Do you understand? That's not what we want. What we want to know is what he's doing. Thank you so much, everybody, for staying with me tonight. It's just a quick one. I say, please go and follow Prevailing Nations with Ajoke on Facebook. That's where we'll be having our shows. Please, Prevailing Nations with Ajoke. Hey, Joy, help condition Ajoke now. Eh? My heart that, uh, ah, for me, beauty world. For your beautiful skin, you want different skin tones to buy me. For me, beauty world, I'm telling you, is the one that can do it. Go to Fumi Beauty World on Instagram. Our Instagram page is called um, at Fumi Beauty World. Ewo, mi o bashere. To ba fe kayama tato bad. Fumi Beauty World. Ah, mi mari wè ri yo. Ki yon ma ta krim to yekwe organic ni. 100% organic. O lo an woba. Wa lai te lai se ma bi lai la si la wè. Fumi Beauty World. Onti ni hè, yè, 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 I be letting you get say their office is number eleven Nobiru Oluwa Street off Oba Retail Market, Ikeja Industrial Area ni Ikeja. A contact Fumi Beauty World www dot Fumi Beauty World dot com for all your skin. Teba fe dudu aduma adon bi ko esin. Teba ma kuwa fe fe ko da bi oyibo omoge akule iju omoge ni tunjo wo contact Fumi Beauty World. I want to let you. Oh, I need dark knuckles. Honestly, it can be so embarrassing. Go to Fumi Beauty World. Oh, my help condition. Oh, love me. I don't know. I like that. I like that. Oh, my help condition. Eh, for anything. Want to start slimming tea. Let it look slim. To that team. The body face. She's going after Christmas. This is the party. Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that to flush out. This is. I want slimming tea. Well, in a. Contact Fumi Beauty World for all your. I joke IPO allow me since our culture is not forbidding married women. Any fed you look your moba profundi ayaba. I come in peace. I don't understand honestly. I don't understand your your goodbye. If you come and speak in English, I if you write it in English, I I will understand it. I'm very very good at you know. Reading you back. <laughs> so contact for me, beauty world for all your skin tone, slimming tea. Kayama try to spice up your sex life. To spice it up, honestly, ha! Spice up your sex life, oh! I want more skin, bad. Oh my God, come on, no one do bad good. Spice your, spice up your sex life, please. Spice it up with Kayamata from Fumi Beauty World. You know, my try, my get to control it. That one is my day. So that uh, Alice Spice uh, help. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please. Share the program for me anywhere you see it. All right, it's just for us to say we are tired of where uh, has moved on, Olori has moved in. Can you go I said, Me too, want to be Olori. I'm a princess too. Aki Kalamo, Shibadi, Akinde, Akin, Akin, Nade. You want to be a princess? How old are you? Ah, you want to be a queen? Okay, come now, come and register. And you can sit on come here. And you can be a Sileno. And I want to see me. Enjoy that can be as you see. You are like to go into it, but Baba. You share that many one hour. You can share. You share. You like many one hour. You share. You like many can be as you are. You can share. Oh, eh, share gun. I do pay gun. Can be as you want. See, fair. You to buy ya arrow lorry. You let that share to my life. Like you know. Shake bo. Hello, ma. Hello, Jerry. Mommy, yes, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Mm. 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 Mm.
Thank you so much. Um, a dear pelori, but a pella say, okay, a pelow at you, Kinimo in law, a pelori table by in last shade to marry, or long a walk with Louis and Drotin at Tony's or no, or not a mag be Lua, Lu Nigeria, at Sil Louis Faber, or long a toy see the boom calling a little tolong she free, couldn't dip a jello jule jury, last shade to marry, and you come over by in the jew, Lu Cogesu, long a walk with Louis, eh, Olori Naumino, it keeps over war, or long a walk with Dre. Had that bubu, I found knowledge. That is mum koto ekoche. Wisdom to bring her home intact. God will give her if she's coming back. If she's not, wherever she goes, along her below, I do see. Eh, I share to marry. But but I want to do a kuno to drag her on the road. Yoba, can you want to do it? No, along her below, she. I have condition. Anyways. Thank you so much, everybody. And this, this particular lady that they said she's very good, like I mentioned, uh, with you in Canada. They said she's very, very generous, very, very good when it comes to charity. And they said she's been doing excellently well. One of the Ayabas. Um, I'm just using this media, this medium, to say thank you so much for all the Ayabas that are doing the work at this moment. The foundations different foundations that you people are looking after for KBAC, we say thank you so much. God bless you all. God bless you. And God bless the incoming Olobe. Whether it's Naomi or another incoming old movie. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Ajaka is going off. I love you all. Continue to share my program. Continue to follow my program. Um, follow prevailing issues with Ajoke, like I said. Follow prevailing issues with Smooth with Ajoke. I love you all. Bye.